hi guys this is Jody cooking welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna make some real Jamaican authentic oxtail so first guys I'm gonna start off by cleaning my oxtail and I'm using one lime you can always use a lemon or even vinegar this is something I grow up doing guys because what it does, it remove the rawness from the oxtail or any meat. Yes. So as I squeeze my lime on my oxtail, I'm just going to take my hands and just rub it as if I'm massaging it. So now I'm turning on my pipe and now I'm just going to wash my oxtail. Just make sure guys you take your hand and just rub it all in so all that excess blood remove from it, okay? So this is at least guys my third time washing my oxtail and as you can see the water is nice and clear guys so that's exactly all you want it and what you can do also you can also add a lemon to it when you finish wash it you can also add a next lemon just to finish it off okay. So now guys, I'm going to season my oxtail. So as you can see, it is nice and fresh. <laughs> so these are all of my seasoning. One teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. One teaspoon of paprika. One teaspoon of garlic powder. One teaspoon of jerk seasoning. And one teaspoon of oxtail seasoning. And guys, if you don't have all the seasoning that I'm using, you can always use your own seasoning, okay? Because I do understand. So, as you can see, I'm just taking my hands and just blending my seasoning just a bit. Then I'm just going to sprinkle it all over on my oxtail. I'm not going to use all of my seasoning. I'm going to leave back just a bit. As you can see, that's the amount that I'm going to leave back. So I'm going to add half of onion to my oxtail and four cloves of garlic and some scotch bonnet pepper. Just three cut because I don't want it to be too, too spicy. Then as you can see, I'm just adding it to my oxtail. So guys, I'm going to add just a small amount of fresh thyme and I'm also going to add, of course, some browning, yeah? I'm going to add at least one spoon of browning just for now. And guys, you can always add just a bit of salt to your oxtail, okay? I don't normally add a lot of salt to my meat or whatever I'm cooking because sometimes the seasoning comes with so much salt guys and I try to cut down on the salt. So now as you can see I'm taking my hands and just massage all that seasoning, all that browning, all that herbs all over on my oxtail. Just make sure all your oxtail guys is all covered with the seasoning. So 
So my oxtail is looking just a bit white and I want it to be a bit darker. So I'm going to add some more of my brown into my oxtail. Not a lot. As you can see, I just pour a little bit in my hands. So my oxtail is all seasoning guys. And you can always leave it to marinate for at least one hour or even for overnight. But guys, if you don't have the time, you just cook it same way because it's still a gotta taste good. Yeah? So now I'm just gonna brown my oxtail just a bit. So as you can see, I have a pot on the stove. And to my pot, I add at least four spoonful of vegetable oil. You don't need to add a lot of oil. So now I'm just going to add my oxtail to my pot one by one. And guys, just let them brown for at least two minutes. Okay, no longer than that. And each side. Don't overcrowd your pot with the oxtail. Okay, just give it room. And guys, you can always add all your oxtail at once, you know, because this sometimes take a bit of time. But if you want, you can just add all of it. Because that's what I normally do. I normally just add all of my oxtail and just brown it all at once. But today I have a bit of time, so I said I'm going to be patient and just do it this way. So my oxtail is nice and brown, so now I'm just going to flip it over. So my oxtail has brown on the both side, so now I'm just going to remove it. So I'm just adding my remaining oxtail that leave back.
so all my oxtail has brown so now guys as you can see i'm just gonna remove it now So guys, I'm going to use the same pot that I take to sear my oxtail in. So what I did, I just removed most of the oil from my pot. So now I'm adding all of my oxtail. And guys, I'm going to add at least one and a half cup of water to my bowl right there that I use to season my oxtail in. So guys, what I did, I just stir it just a bit. So now I'm just gonna add all that liquid all in my pot. So I'm just going to add all of my remaining seasoning that left. So after you had all your seasoning, now you're just going to take your spoon and just stir it all in. So guys, I want my oxtail to be just a bit darker, so I'm going to add at least just a teaspoon of browning. And as I add my browning, I'm just going to take my spoon and just mix it all in so it is blend. So guys, I'm going to add at least one teaspoon of pimento seed and I'm just going to allow my oxtail to cook for at least one hour on a medium to high heat and I'm also going to cover my pot, okay? Make sure you give a eye on your oxtail so the liquid doesn't dry it out and if it do dry it out guys, you can always add a bit of water to it. So while my oxtail is cooking guys, I'm just going to show you guys my remaining ingredients. So here I have half of onion, four cloves of garlic, some scotch bonnet pepper. I cut it at least three times, just a small amount of fresh thyme, one carrot, and I'm also going to add just a small amount of spring onion and some bell peppers, all the colors. I'm just adding off. And I'm also going to add a 5 spoonful of ketchup and 1 can of butter bean, okay? So guys, my oxtail has been cooking just over 1 hour and that's what it looks like. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to poke my fork in my oxtail just to see how tender it is. And guys, as you can see, it is not as tender as I want it to be. So I'm just going to cook it for at least another hour, okay? And guys, you can always use a pressure cooker for a faster result, okay? So guys, I'm going to add at least half cup of water to my pot. And make sure, guys, your pot is covered, okay? So 
so I just removed the cover from my pot so now guys I'm gonna check and see if my oxtail is tender enough so guys it is really tender and that's exactly how I want it to be that's perfect so now I'm gonna add all of my ketchup and guys what the ketchup does it gives the oxtail such a nice flavor and it also makes the gravy thick and rich and nice. So that's why, okay? So now I'm gonna add all of my herbs. And guys, just look at my pot. It looks so colorful and so vibrant, I'm telling you. So you just want to give it a stir. So guys, this is totally optional, but I'm going to add at least one spoonful of butter to my oxtail, okay? And I'm also going to add one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning and just a pinch of salt. And guys, you can always taste your liking, okay? Then I'm just going to give it a stir so everything is all blend. So guys, this is totally optional, but I'm going to add one spoon of sugar to my oxtail because what it does, it blend out the taste from the tomato sauce, okay? And it also gives the oxtail such a nice flavor, I'm telling you. I see someone do it before and I said, no, I have to try it. And when I try it, I just keep doing it because I just love the flavor of it. So guys, I'm going to allow my oxtail to cook for at least 5 to 10 minutes and I'm just going to cover my pot, okay? So just after 10 minutes, that's what my oxtail look like. And guys, I'm telling you, it is so rich. Just look at that gravy. May I tell you, this oxtail is sell-off. So now, guys, I'm going to add my butter bean. Yes, and this is what going to finish it off. Then I'm just going to allow it, guys, to just cook for another five minutes or so, okay? So finally, finally, my oxtail is all finished and I'm telling you, it's looking so, so, so yummy. It's been cooking for at least two and a half hours in total. Guys, if you support what I do, please share this video to all of your families, to your friends and all over on your social media. I will really, really appreciate it. And please give this video a big, big thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so you can receive more delicious videos like these. And guys, don't forget to hit your notification button for whenever I upload a video, you will be the first to see it, okay? 
So what I'm going to do guys soon, I'm just going to plate it up for you guys and show you guys how it looks on the plate. So now guys, I'm plating up my oxtail so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to serve my oxtail with some authentic Jamaican rice and peas as you can see. Because you know so two of them are got together. <laughs> I'm kidding, you can have it with plain rice, with dumpling, but you know I still go with rice and peas, yeah? Don't forget, you can always remove the excess time from your pot, okay? I'm just cleaning off my plate just a bit and then I'm just gonna add my fresh vegetable on the side there. Guys, comment below and tell me what's your favorite Jamaican Sunday dinner to eat. Me personally, I love oxtail, yes, with rice and peas. And I also love curry goat, yeah, or even some brown stew chicken. Guys, I'm telling you, just look at my plate. Oxtail look good though. Oh my gosh. So my oxtail is all plated up, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna taste it for you guys and tell you what it's like, okay? So stay tuned. So just before I taste my oxtail, Guys, I'm just going to take some picture because you know I am on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please follow me at Williams Food Varieties. Okay? So it's about that time. Now I'm going to taste my oxtail for you guys. And guys, I'm telling you, it is so delicious. The oxtail is so tender. It is so juicy. It is so flavorful. I give this recipe 10 out of 10. It is not too spicy, it's just perfect. Guys, I thank you all so much for watching this video. Don't forget to keep laughing and keep smiling no matter what. Because God is always on your side. And please, if you do try this recipe, comment below and tell me what it's like. Until next time, bye. Love ya. Bye guys.